Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Teen Idols. It is a little after 12, uh, Monday morning, Monday afternoon, it's not morning anymore. <laughs> I've been kind of piddling around. I did some laundry stuff, took dogs out, all that good stuff. and I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos and stuff. And I'm about to go so, plus I had phone calls, several phone calls this morning. Um from my dad and from my son. So, um, the day flies by sometimes when you piddle, doesn't it? Uh, but I'm about to go so, cause I gotta get bags in the shop. Uh, my son actually just told me we'll be able to pick him up earlier Wednesday than we thought. So, which is good. So but I've just gotta, got the next two days. I got to get stuff done. Um, Yesterday was great. I had uh, lunch with my in-laws. I haven't seen them in a while. It was a wonderful day. I really enjoyed it. Good food. Good conversation. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, this is, I was going to show y'all. I'm just going to turn it a little bit. That's my fabric shelf, which I usually see where I'm sitting at. So that is the drafting table I'm usually sitting at. That's the corner. Well, no, that's not. I'm sorry. That is, that's the drafting table. I usually sit at. That is my little side table, my rolly cart beside this chair. So there's no room between it <laughs> and the drafting table. It's kind of wedged in here. In the back, you can kind of see that thing with the fabric and stuff draped over it. That's my mannequin. It's covered up. <laughs> so this chair is beside the windows in my room. So. It's just kind of set in here. And the only way to get to the other side. Well, I could roll the cart out of the way if I wanted to. But I'm going to walk around the other way to get to the stuff behind me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm hoping at the end of the year to uh, fix some things in my son's room. The flooring. And uh, get myself moved into that room. So, of course, there's boxes piled with yarn in there right now. That's just the way. I'm hoping to get a whole wall shelf unit thing or something going so I can get things out of the boxes. But we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So I also wanted to say something about the Copa Law business that's going around. Um, I already knew about the Copa Law because I have a blog and I have a whole page of privacy policy stuff that I have to put up comply with all the FTC laws um, and laws in other countries because if your website or whatever can be viewed by other countries then it has to comply with those, their laws as well um, so I was already familiar with that um, and I've been watching some more stuff about it you know with YouTube and stuff like that and uh, I also looked at my analytics in my YouTube studio, there's nobody under 45 watching my videos anyway. I mean, my videos are not monetized at this time, um, which they could potentially be. Um, I'm getting closer to that thousand mark. I think I'm at 742 or something like that. But uh, I don't look at YouTube to be my one source of income anyway. You really shouldn't. Uh, I know it's tempting to think of all the money you could possibly make, but when you do those sort of things, it's not just free money. You have to work for those things still. Um, doing videos and editing videos takes time and energy, certainly, and uh, promoting yourself, that takes a lot of time and energy. Um, I know that from having an Etsy shop and a blog and everything like that. So, um, but when I looked at my metrics or my analytics, my audience is between the ages of 45 and 65. So I have nobody under that age even listed in my metrics. Of course, you don't really know because Google and YouTube have a an age gate is basically what it is where you're supposed to be 13 or older to even have an account. 
on YouTube. That That's the way they have it set up. So, plus they have a YouTube for kids. So, I'm not... So, it seems to me that that should be handled already. Because if parents are letting their kids use their account, then the parents already given consent. Okay? That's how that works. If you let your kids do that, you've given them consent. So... I mean, there's also lots of questions and stuff you have to go through. And so it should prevent anybody under the age of 13 from being on YouTube, regular YouTube. Um, so I just, uh, plus the COPA law itself does allow for a general audience. YouTube did not give that option for your videos. So that's something that they're still working on and they still need to work out. And those things take a long time. Anytime you're dealing with the government, it always takes a long time. So, anyway, I just want to say a little bit about it. Just be informed. Just read stuff. You know, don't take, don't even take my word for it. Go read. Go inform yourself. I'm big about informing yourself about stuff. You know, you can't just believe everything someone tells you just because you want to. <laughs> you should, you should read about it and you should be informed. So you know what the law is. Um, FTC regulates all of that stuff. That's why anytime I do affiliate links, I have to put that it's an affiliate link. It is required by the FTC. Um, if you're not doing that, you can get in trouble for that. You can get in trouble. Mostly you would get in trouble by the per, usually the, whoever you're putting the affiliate link for could probably just discontinue your account and you could no longer use their affiliate links or whatever um, because um, you have to do that it's just about people wanting to know what's happening with their information and what link they're clicking on and where it goes and all that stuff you know um, and it's something that the law is still trying to catch up with really because um, the laws that were put in place didn't account for the internet <laughs> so and uh, like I said they're still trying to catch up with that stuff um, so anywho that went off on a little tangent but that's that was it I just wanted to tell y'all be informed uh, um, make sure you look at several different sources for information don't just look at one source for your information um, there are multiple sides to everything usually it's getting kind of orangey glow in here anyway i gotta go so so i'll possibly do another segment of this before i upload it this evening i didn't do one yesterday we got back uh it was about six or so i could have done one but i was tired and i wanted to chill out um which tends to happen when i am around a bunch of people for a little while even ones that i love and care about and like to spend time with i have to have a little a long time so, uh, yeah, I would just be aware of who your audience actually is uh, because they may not even be younger people watching what you're doing, even if it's like crafty stuff can be attractive to children. Um, but most, from what I've seen, most younger children under that age point are not, when they watch a video, that's not what they're looking to watch. <laughs> Somebody talking about crocheting or sewing or something. They're they're looking for other things usually, but uh, yeah, just be informed. And uh, I will talk to y'all later. I got sewing to do. Bye. All right, I'm back. It's I don't know seven thirty or something like that. Uh, yeah, and I'm uh I did get some sewing done. And other stuff done. I had to do a blog post today because it was time for the final challenge in my maker finish along. And I had to do a newsletter because I didn't do one Sunday since I was gone all day. So I had to do all those things. Yeah. And like I said, I've talked to my dad several times a day and I talked to my son. Uh, 
Uh, just, you know, the day piddles by before you know. Um, and I'm not wearing a crochet item, but I was going to show you one. This is not one I made. This was. This is a hat. Yeah. <laughs> this was from my, um, I'm trying to remember if I did this at the beginning of this year or the end of last year. I think I did it at the beginning of this year. It was a maker, uh, what am I talking about? Maker? No. It was a, a hat swap. You would a crochet or knit a hat uh, for a partner and send it to them. And uh, this is from my partner. Um, you might care remember the name of right now. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I'll try to, I'll look her up and put the link down below so you can go check her out. Um, I think she has an Etsy shop where she sells her crochet items, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I think it's something like covered in crochet for some reason. That's what I'm thinking, but that could be wrong. So, just check below for the correct <laughs> link, please. <laughs> um, yeah. So, there, that's my crocheted object today. It's not one by me. It's from my swap partner. Um, and I finished a couple more ornaments. Which I got to go ahead and get that tree decorated. But it'll be... Uh, I don't know what day it'll be. It'll be a day. <laughs> Here is my s'mores ornament. He's a little wonkily and squishy, but that's how real s'mores is, isn't it? <laughs> In the pattern, she's, she said to, like, steam these or whatever you do to, to make them lay flat. Uh, I just chose not to do that. Um, and I kind of like him like that because it looks more like a s'mores to me. So, and then I also made this little mitten. With a little snowflake in the middle uh, for an ornament. I, uh, looks the same on both sides. On In the pattern, you make two sides and you crochet the other stuff it a little bit, but I didn't. I didn't want to do that, so I just made one. <laughs> I just made the one side. And it can hang like that on my tree. Um, there was a couple of other, there was one with the little eyes, the, what is that, kawaii, kawaii, kawaii face, something like that, and the smile, um, I just decided to do that one, so, uh, and I did knit yesterday on my scarf that I've been knitting on with the Mon mandala, um, ombre, but, it's in the other room, so it did change color. It's not really, <laughs> you know, it's not that much different than it was the last time I showed it. So I knit on that on the way to uh, my in-laws yesterday and on the way back. So, um, yeah. And then, so, oh, if, if you hadn't already noticed, uh, I put stuff on sale in my shop. Uh, everything is either 10 to 10 to 20 percent off um everything even my stitch markers are at least 10 percent off um there's some things i marked at 15 percent off and then the stuff that's been there for a while that has not sold i marked at 20 percent off um and my pattern for my bumps and scales cowl shawl my bumps and scales shawl crochet pattern is on sale for 50% off again and that is started today through December 2nd okay I am putting more bags in in there it's a little light right now um but there's more coming it's by the end of Tuesday I should have stuff in there updated um and it will be the new stuff will be 10% off um, and then I have a coupon code that you can use. You can get free shipping if you spend $50 or, or more. So that's what's going on in the shop right now. I just finished 
these bags. I haven't delinted them or anything. These are kind of fallish still. I do have Christmas bags that will be in there. I won't have any. I won't have any quilted maker bags and Christmas prints. I'll just have the drawstring ones, uh, the drawstring makers and the mini makers, and then I'll have um. What do I got over there? I may get some zippered. Uh, quilted zippered uh, pouches with the Christmas prints in there. I don't know that I'm going to get them in there before the end of the sale. Okay. But I will have the Christmas bags in there before then. These bags, some more totes. That will be given. Okay. So, this is one bag. It has, I had a little bit of a swirl print. And so, it's on the bottom. <laughs> and then it's got this uh, buffalo check, buffalo print on the top. And then it's got this moon and stars print on the inside with this kind of wood print on the pocket. Um, of course, it's got the D-ring inside and, and the handle and it's zippered. And I will be putting some little leaf uh, charms on the, zi the zipper. So there's that one. And then there's this one, which is the mason jars with the fireflies in it and the little checky pattern although i believe someone's already claimed this so <laughs> uh it has the maps print on the inside and that flannel stripey stuff and then i have this one which is the same check that's on the bottom of this and then the buffalo plaid this on this uh so, yeah, these are all quilted. This one's quilted along in some of the spaces in there. It has this greenish, uh, kind of matches the tone on the outside, on the inside, and it has uh, this fabric for the pocket. So, those will be in the shop, and they'll all have um, uh, charms on the zipper to coordinate okay and then I have well let's see if I can show you just the these are ones that will be pockets zippered but for now I know I will have drawstring maker bags with the pockets and then the mini maker bags in these prints so this is one print that will be coming up it's got the animals and the little station wagon with presents or trees on it. I thought that was fun. And then we've got the fun uh, Alexander Henry Christmas, the scuba Santa print. You can see more of this in the bigger bags, though. Um, it's a really a fun print. It's got reindeer and <laughs> scuba suits, too. <laughs> uh, and then I have... This print, which is kind of interesting because it has a bear with a scarf. It's got like a Santa Claus head, but it also has a dreidel and a Christmas tree and presents and skis. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's an interesting print. And then I have this one with the deer with different plaid prints and the wood background. And I have this one with the kitty cats skiing and sweaters and hats. And y'all, I found a dog print to match this. So I'm hoping I'll get those cut out too before and get them in the shop. Um, and then I have just, I think, one bag, drawstring bag like this with this kind of print with the windows with different scenes in it. And then I'll have a, a couple of minis. I think that's what I got with that one. I think I don't think I just for some reason only have a half, had a half a yard of that one. I don't know why. Um, so that's what's coming up. Uh, I've got those. I got a lot, most of it sewn up. I've just got to. Um, I got to do some bands for the top and get my drawstrings in. So. And then uh, those totes I showed the other day will be coming up. So. Got a lot of stuff coming up in there. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get more sewing time in than I got in today. 
It was kind of a weird day, back and forth day. In the morning, I got to get up and ride with my husband to pick up my truck, which is finally fixed, except for the air. That's something he's still got to do part of. They got to, but it, you can still drive it. And the wheels, stuff that was wrong with it's all fixed now. So, yeah, I'm looking. Oh, my water, it's way over there. I don't have to interrupt this, so I'm going to keep on. <laughs> All right, so um, that's pretty much been my day today. Um, did enjoy some pie leftovers and monkey bread leftovers for all those on Instagram who said they were coming to get some. Um, I'm gonna have to fight my husband for that because uh, that's his, uh, he really likes that stuff. So, <laughs> um, I like the pie better, but, um, uh, my pie crust turned out really good. It was crumbly, though. You couldn't really cut a slice of pie. It was crumbling. So they called it pecan crumble instead of pecan pie. But it was it was really good. It turned out good. Um, and other people said so. It wasn't just me saying that. <laughs> so, uh, and my son gets to come home earlier. I'm going to pick him up early Mon Wednesday morning instead of Wednesday afternoon. Because he didn't have a morning class after all. So I'm excited about that. Uh, what else? Hmm, told you about the shop, shop sale. Oh. oh I was going to show you right quick. Dollar Tree has $4.95 flat rate shipping through the 30th, I think, or the 29th. I don't know. It's like through Black Friday, I'm pretty sure. So, that's flat rate shipping, so you get it shipped directly to you for $4.95. You can always have it shipped to this, your local store for free, but I just, if I can have it shipped to me, I prefer that. I just don't live in town. So, um, I was going to show you, they do still have yarns. I saw some new yarns up there too, but I also have other things. <laughs> I ordered all these wreath, wreath frames. They were a dollar each. I thought I only ordered four, but I got eight. And when I looked back at my ticket and I had eight, I don't know. I didn't, I thought it was only four, but they're 14 inch. They're just, uh, these, you can order as little as four of these. You don't have to order a whole case of them. They're just the wireframe. I got some things I want to do with that. So that's for projects coming up next year. So I ordered that. And I ordered these when, um, the last time they had 495 flat rate shipping. So this is, <laughs> I ordered a whole case of these because you could order less, but these are all tiny wooden crates. <laughs> and they had some with like handles in the side if you wanted it. I don't know why you would need handles on something that little, but um, I have a project planned for this next year. And when I'm going to make a, what is there, 24 in the case? Yeah. I want to make a tiny wall shelving unit and uh i'll do some different little painting techniques and stuff to it so that's something to look forward to next year but this is uh just a box of those little wooden crates and that one you have to order a case of 24. there are some things on there you can order like some of the yarns you can order just six or you can order a case of 24 or 36 so uh, you just have to check it out i'll put a link down below they are one of my affiliates. Um, and like I said, I like to buy things from my affiliates to see how all the shipping and stuff goes and how they handle issues before I share links with y'all because I don't like, I don't like sharing links for something I don't use personally and for something that I've had issues with. So, um, yeah, that's all for today. I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Um, I don't have my coffee cup today, Z. <laughs> I did this morning, but when I sat down to film it, I had left it on the other table. <laughs> so, hope you get to see my coffee cup tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this evening. I'm putting this together and get it uploaded. And um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.